Out of all the movies that released in 2023, I might as well talk about my favorites. And as long as I don't go through a crisis, this should go well. Boy, what a year this was. 2023, the year of pure hype and disappointment. It was a mixed year for me. Sure, the Mario movie released that year, but then I realized Ruby Gilman also released that year. But I gotta admit, there were some great movies that released in 2023, so I had an idea. With 2023 wrapped up, I gave myself time to reflect on the movies I've seen and decided, hey, why not pull an Oscars and pick out the movie of the year? That could be fun, right? It's pretty simple. I just pick out the nominees, talk about why I nominated those movies, and at the end, I just pick the movie of the year. Before I go into this, keep this in mind that all the nominations in the winner is going to be solely based on my opinion. All of this is coming from my perspective, how I see these movies, and heck, I might have a soft spot for some of them. But with all that said, let's start the show. So, here are the nominees for Movie of the Year 2023. Missing, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Oppenheimer, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, and Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget. A decent list of nominations here. Missing was interesting. The fact that they took advantage of string sharing and recording is really cool actually. I thought this movie would have a predictable plot twist, but no, instead it got me guessing the whole time. Apparently, this movie is a predecessor of a completely different movie that I didn't know about, but this one in particular got me invested. If you haven't seen this, give it a try at least once. I remember talking about the Mario movie before, and even though it has problems, I still love this movie. It's already a massive improvement to that one garbage movie from 1993, and I love the amount of easter eggs you can find. And on top of that, this was my anticipated movie of the year, uh, along with Spider-Man of course. Speaking of which, Across the Spider-Verse was a spectacular sequel. You already have Into the Spider-Verse, the movie that literally involved animation and made a sequel that literally improves from the first one. You know, after watching the post credit scene from the first movie, I knew Sony had something cooking and my lordy, they served it in a way that I can't describe. I love the humor, I love the improved animation, and I love Spider Society. This is all I've ever wanted. And you know what? I think I can wait for a few years for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Oppenheimer was an amazing film coming from Christopher Nolan. I really wasn't that interested at first, but then I heard a lot of people saying that it was the best film humanity has ever seen. So I decided to see the movie for myself, and they're not wrong. Again, this is coming from Christopher Nolan, so I already know it's gonna be great. His movies up until this point has always got me invested, and I somewhat feel the same for Oppenheimer. There were some scenes that I like, and then there were the other scenes that left me confused, but other than that, it was a great movie overall. Mutant Mayhem was a great time, and I love the art style that they used here. It's like they took inspirations from Into the Spider-Verse and made something completely different. And sure, there are some parts of this style that looks weird, but it gets a pass from me. I like the cast, they give the movie more humor than I thought it would. And I love some of the action scenes, especially the last one. It may not be the best version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I can get used to it. Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget was great, but it was unexpected as a sequel. I kinda knew the sequel was happening a few years ago, but still. The original Chicken Run was one of my favorite stop motion movies of all time, and the fact they made a sequel worried me. But hey, it was surprisingly great. I love how he went from the prison break in the first movie to a heist in the sequel, somewhat. 
While it's not as dark as the first movie, there were some scenes that was surprisingly chilling which tells you that these guys don't play by the rules. Overall, it was a fine sequel and nothing more. So after going through all the nominations, I think my movie of the year is going to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This movie was already my movie of the year ever since I saw it because again, it was a spectacular sequel. Now, would I prefer this than Into the Spider-Verse? Well, yeah, sure. Would I prefer this than Puss and Boots The Last Wish? I guess, but Puss and Boots has a lot going for it, you know? All I can say is Across the Spider-Verse is a great sequel and is better than the first movie. For now, at least. And with that, 2023 is long gone, and I can't wait for the movies to be released this year in 2024. And also, I'm starting a series of animated shorts. The first one is currently in development, but you can check out my other pilot animations in my animation channel. The link is in the description below. But for now, what was your movie of the year of 2023? <laughs>